Radon is an odorless and colorless gas that many people aren't aware is accumulating inside their homes. Radon is very prevalent all throughout Canada, especially in the places where we're actually living. The cities of the Canadian prairies, the greater Toronto area, the Canadian Maritimes. My name is Dr. Aaron Godarzi and I'm a radiation biologist. What I do is I study how the radiation from radon impacts our DNA. How is it getting inside our house is that it's bubbling up through soil gas underneath our homes. Our basements, our cellars are actually actively drawing it up through the gaps between where the wall meets the basement floor, through cracks, through sump pumps. It's being drawn up inside where it's captured and concentrates. So many people are unaware that radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in Canadians and the leading cause in non-smokers. Breathing in the dangerous amounts of radon, levels that exceed Health Canada's maximum acceptable guideline, is particularly dangerous because radon emits radiation. That happening inside our lungs damages the DNA, turning those cells into cancer. Our research has found that one in eight Alberta households exceed Health Canada's maximum acceptable radon guideline of 200 becquerels per cubic meter, which is how radon is measured inside our houses. People often ask me, who are the most susceptible to radon? Well, the answer is the people who spend the most time inside the house. In most cases, that is in fact our children. In addition to that, children are well known to be more susceptible to the negative health effects of radon exposure. How do you figure out if you have a radon problem? Well, it's actually very simple. You simply place one of these tests inside the home for three winter months, send that back to a laboratory, and then you will receive your radon reading for that period of time. That will tell you whether or not you exceed Health Canada's maximum acceptable radon limit. So why do we radon test during the winter? Well, it's very simple. That is when all of our windows and doors are typically closed. That's when we actually spend the most time inside. And it's also when we're heating the home. When we heat the home, it actually pulls more radon inside. That's why we radon test between the months of October to the end of April. So the good news is that radon is a solvable problem. No matter how high your radon levels are, the correct technology installed correctly by a professional inside your house can reduce those levels from potentially very hazardous to very safe, removing the radon coming in in the first place. People often think that you can solve a radon problem simply by diluting the air. Maybe that's opening a window or turning on a hood fan. In fact, those two things actually sometimes can make your radon problem worse because it causes a suction effect pulling more radon out of the ground. The best solution to solving a high radon problem is called sub-slab depressurization. This is also a permanent solution inside our houses, making that home the safe environment it should be. Here at the University of Calgary Charbonneau Cancer Institute, scientists like myself are developing solutions to Canada's radon problem. In order to make that a reality, we need people like yourself to purchase a radon test. By doing so, you will understand whether you are at risk from radon, and by contributing that data to scientists, we can eliminate radon as a problem for Canadians. Let's all evict radon from our homes. For more information and to purchase your radon testing kit, please visit evictradon.ca.